I never meant for this to happen. It's just something I fell into. It's a bit lonely at times. One slip and they can turn on you. Having Super Trev in my life makes me feel like a complete person. He's the inner me I want to be. He's bold, he's exciting, he takes no prisoners. He's like, a, he's like a warm blanket which makes me feel whole. I wanted to have my own superhero, I mean who doesn't? So the, uh, the Super Trev costume contains elements of costumes and, and characters that I really love. The main thing is that it's, it's Superman mixed with Mr Incredible. Now Mr Incredible says you don't need a cape but I, comp I disagree completely. I think it's cool. It blows in the wind, you can throw it around, it even gives you a bit of shade. I feel really good when I'm wearing the outfit. It makes me feel active. I want to jump, I want to run, I want to live my life. I would go and do the shopping, catch up with friends, read the papers, have a coffee, all in the outfit. It's a part of me. I'm actually wearing the underwear now. So around 10 years ago, I was working in a bar and studying at the same time and I found it really difficult to make ends meet. And I was living in an apartment in Potts Point. We had a communal clothesline. And one day I saw this superhero costume. I thought, this is kind of strange. Got talking to this guy, James. And it turned out that he was a children's entertainer. And he said, you should give it a go. It's a good way to, to earn money on a weekend. Didn't like it so much at first, but you do get used to it. It is a bit strange wearing like it for a living, but you actually go to kind of like it. One, two, three. Super <laughs> Hello, everybody! <laughs> Being a superhero is great. You when you turn up to a party, kids, they genuinely believe that you are a superhero. And you jump over the fence, and you say, oh, I'm Super Trev, and the kids, their eyes just get big and, and they go, wow, that's a superhero in my backyard. Isn't this amazing? Yeah. It's such a great feeling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I feel like Bono. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. As a superhero, we, One, want, to, we want to teach two, the kids to fight three. bad guys, save the day, rescue, do the moves learn how to use their powers, learn how to use mind control on the parents. We illustrate that story of being a superhero and as part of that, you've got to have bad guys. Dads make great bad guys. They're usually really keen to get involved and they don't mind being beaten up with balloon swords, which you know, makes for a great banana. The complete superhero that you see before you did not just come about overnight. It took years of effort, training, running, diving, doing balloon animals until all hours. You know, those sound effects, things like that. I mean, come on, it takes a lot of effort. My advice to up and coming superheroes, two things. Wear a box, show no fear. The kids can smell fear. They will literally pounce on you like a pack of hyenas on a wounded deer. There's a few difficult things about being a superhero. Chafing. Being a birthday party, sometimes parents have a few drinks and can be a little bit, um, the mums can be a little bit grabby. But um, on the whole, it, it is a fairly rewarding job. Batman a good guy or a bad guy? A good guy. And who does he fight against? Baddies named... Samurai Warrior. Samurai Warrior, yep, I'm sure he does. Mailman. And the mailman? Who here fights against the mailman? <laughs> yep, yeah. good. Us superheroes, we're trying to get together as often as possible. We, uh, we have powwows, we debrief, we talk about what it's like dealing with difficult children, difficult parents, difficult situations, learn about the latest trends in balloon animals and face paints, and really just Even share war stories. can be an art form, and the kids can really love it. Nothing entertains them more than just repetitively oh. going like this. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and then we go... <laughs> when I started this game, I wasn't married. Now I am, got three kids, and it's, it's made Super Trev change a little bit also. Like, a, like an ageing footballer, you don't need to run around as much if you know where the ball's going to be. So in the same way, 
I try and direct more with voice. <laughs> I'm really enjoying where I'm at now and I look forward to seeing where the act and where Super Trev and where I go in the next 10 years.